Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Dark Quest 3. Now, it's important to stress that this game is still early access. That being said, the game is due out of early access on May 24th, 2023, so about a week from now, as of the date and time of this recording. So what you're looking at here, for the most part, should be reflective of some kind of finished product. So I looked back at my history. I'm like, I vaguely remember covering this. It was actually called Dark Quest the Board Game during the preview build that I was given about a year ago. Um, I was given a new key to cover the game as it stands now, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to just quickly do a first impressions and see what has changed, what it's like now. Um, Dark Quest uh, for those of you that don't know, there's a couple of games in the series, and it's very reminiscent of Hero Quest, the board game. And that's a, a name that you kids won't care about, but as an old guy, I remember I actually had Hero Quest, the board game, when I was a kid. Anyway, options menu, it that's it, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. Just pause if you want to see any of that in greater detail, but there's not a whole lot going on there. All right, let's go ahead and hit play, and we'll start a new game. So there's easy, heroes have double health, and you have extra dice rolls. Play on normal. I'm going to play on easy. I, I like casual games. I have so many, it's just, <laughs> I can't keep up, and I'm old. All right. Are you going to load? Who dares challenge me? There we go. Some kind of loading screen there I think would have been very helpful. Just saying. Uh, create a party of four heroes. Well, it looks like some of these are grayed out. So it looks like we will be earning more heroes as we play the game. Which is cool. It would have been nice to see... Is there like... An unlock information card? I mean, hold alt to see more information, fine. But how do we unlock it? Uh, is it just by playing? Do we have to, you know, pay extra? I don't know. Like, some sort of information on their unlock system would have been fine. Okay, well, I guess we have no choice but to be these four. I don't see any other characters that are, like, unlocked. Archer! <laughs> All right, well, fine. Wizard! Dwarf! Barbarian! <laughs> Prepare to die! Click on this window to learn more about the game. All right, so there is a turn order system. Once a hero has completed their turn, a monster will play. This will go back and forth. Fine. Health and armor. Health changes are permanent. There is no maximum health. Um, resistance provides extra health. Yeah, we know what resistance is. Cards. So, this is a card system. Interesting. You may perform one primary action, such as attacking or moving per character. You are allowed one secondary action before a primary action. Overwhelm. When two characters are adjacent to an enemy, they gain plus one damage on their attacks. Large creatures require more surrounding people. Uh, most cards require a direction of attack. Uh, ranged attacks require a second position to move to. Monster AI... They will attack their closest enemy. Some have specific strategies. And pre-rolls. The number three on the top left of a card shows how much damage the attack will do. After you attack, it will be a, get a new value, two or three. When a passive card is about to trigger, it will show the color green on the top left. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's hope for the best here. Um, all right. So there's an elder. Adventurers, I have gathered you here to wish you well. Only you can stop the evil wizard. Uh, so there's upgrade the camp. Tell me more about my quest. And Okay, so this camp, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Start with one extra healing potion, 10 crystals. Start with one extra dice roll, 20 crystals. So it looks like there's going to be some kind of rogue-like-ish element. I'm going to move myself over here so you can see the bottom right corner of the screen. So it looks like we will be earning these crystals as we play the game, and then we can spend them here to unlock new stuff for our camp. Okay, typical. Um, is there anything else I can interact with that doesn't look like? Let's just begin our journey. Okay. Um, there's dice down here. I'm not exactly sure. I've not found any equipment yet. No runes. No combat cards. Potions, I'm assuming, and dice. Okay, well, let's click on Wagon Merchant. They greet me warmly. Uh, learn. Choose a hero. Uh, okay. Uh, how about the wizard? 
Okay, so I can buy something for my wizard? One to three magic damage, three enemies. Um, you cannot be targeted by cards. One magic resistance. I kind of like the whole lightning storm thing. Okay. Alchemist. Take a potion. Uh, choose a hero to drink the potion and restore one to three health. Let's give it to the wizard. He seems pretty low. Alright, I guess we will enter the forest. Fine. Great forest! So it seems like progression in this game is just clicking on cards to the left here. It sort of advances the story. Is that a wolf or a dog? The forest comes alive. It's an ambush. Great. Your first battle. <laughs> Try not to die. Well, that was nice. Okay. Um, well, if I click on him... There's attack, one to three body damage. Um, primary action is this action will end the character's turn. Um, is there a secondary action? There's a secondary. I can heal if I want to. Um, this card will be removed after you play it. I don't think we need to do that yet. Free action, drink ale. 50% chance to do double damage. I hate 50% chance crap. Um, yeah, we'll just 1 to 3 damage, I guess. Oh, interesting. So I can actually, like, go around. Alright, um, let's surround him. He does 2 to 3. He's gonna die anyway. Um, let's... Yeah, let's do that. That wizard is getting beat on. We don't want that. Okay. Uh, 1 to 3 damage ranged. Um... Well, that would certainly kill that, but select a target. Now select a position to move to. Okay. Um, do we have to move the same character? I guess we have to move the character it's telling us to. Well, this guy's surrounded. One to two magic damage, it's fine. Um, so it's ranged. Interesting. And this guy moves. And then... I guess we'll just... Well, actually, he's surrounded. I'd rather use him. Let's mm, attack. There we go. Not terribly difficult. Learn or upgrade a hero card or upgrade an attack card. Um, so what's the difference between a hero card and an attack card? Let's try the hero card. I want to see what that's Select all about. A character. The wizard's getting beat on pretty bad. Okay, so I'm guessing I can upgrade one of these. So I can go from 1 to 3 magic damage... To two to four magic damage. I like that. Um, tornado, invisibility, anti-magic. Let's do... No, I can cancel out and do something else. Uh, what about the archer here? Uh, surprise attack. Oh, so I can learn a new one or upgrade an existing one. I see. So I could learn invisibility. I could learn tornado. But I can only upgrade lightning storm because I own it already. Um, throw axe for body damage. That's kind of cool. Attacks back once every three weapon attacks. I like the counter attack thing. Let's do that. Upgrade an attack card. Oh, we Select can do both. The character. Uh, okay. So two to three magic damage. I could upgrade that. Or three to four body damage. Um, I kind of, it's just, a f yeah, let's do that. More damage is more damage. Okay. Uh, next card, please. Four. Thorns. Test your perception. All right, so we've got some dice rolls here. Um, on a five to ten, Four. ooh, I suffer one damage. So is this a re-roll? Is that what that is? Seven. It is. Okay. So yeah. So I can re-roll dice with this little die here, and I, there's a counter. I've got five left. Blacksmith. Um, I will acquire an equipment card. Um, let's, it adds one on attack cards with body damage. I might want to give that to the Barbarian. Plus one armor at the start of the battle. I like that too. I will give that, uh, who, can I give that to someone? Or, it doesn't seem like they've got it. Oh, there we go. I just clicked on it, then clicked on the Barbarian. And there it is. Okay. Next card. All right then. Heal a character for five to seven, refuse an attack. Um, its body cracks. So why? 
Oh, I can acquire... No, I'm gonna heal. I can acquire a rune if I attack it, but I don't want to do that. I'll take the plus six. Next, please. Pack of wolves. Lovely. Um, I will... I will attack and upgrade a hero. Once... Okay. These wolves don't seem all that bad. Uh, let's get this guy right into the fight. These guys are larger, though. Um, let's do... Move to target position and gain plus one armor and plus one magic res It's a primary action. Um, this is a passive card. All right, so let's just get in there and just just do some damage. Yes, dead. That armor is fantastic, I love it. Um, let's get the dwarf to come in from behind. It's one to three damage, but there's... Oh, this is a medium-sized monster, so I'm assuming the surrounding bonus is not gonna kick in yet. Uh, that's okay. We will just shoot. Um, I want to stay there. And then this guy, one to two magic damage from ranged. Okay. Uh, learn or upgrade a hero card. Select a character. A character. Uh, let's go with, um, hmm. Target up to three targets, deal one to two body damage. Uh, once every three body attacks, you will evade. Um, at the start of a combat, you have a 50% chance to attack an enemy. That's kind of cool, actually. I, I mean, it's 50% chance, but... Um, something unusual catches your eye. I can rescue the Lancer. So, okay. Here's a new hero that I'll have access to at some point in the future. Alright, next... A dead body, that's lovely. Search the corpse or leave the corpse be. Um, putrid odor? Maybe it's not a good idea to search the corpse. I'm gonna leave it. Waterfall. You drink. Heal a random character by one to two. Alright then. Archer, roll the skull of fate. Ooh, okay. Ten! Ten! That narrator. <laughs> a bear. Lovely. Attack the bear and upgrade a hero. Yeah, let's do that. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, my archer kicked in and got minus... T or damaged him already. That's awesome. Let's get in there. And let's tank him with our barbarian. Alright, he attacks back. Um, he, I can't tell how much life he has, but he can't... I, yeah, he doesn't have that much. All right, we'll attack him, and then just... that's fine. All right, learn or upgrade a hero card. All right, dwarf. Returns back two to three body damage when it breaks. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Creates a barrel that attracts attention and can take up to two hits. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, so... Exploding barrel deals. Okay, so he can put barrels down and apparently like explode or taunt. That's kind of cool. Um, uh, tornado. I don't know. I kind of. Oh, I can upgrade this one to always do two damage. Oh, that's that's really cool. The chance to attack an enemy. I like that. Select up to three targets and deal one to two body damage. Once every... Th okay, let's go with the split shot. You find an unkept garden leading to a ratchety hut. Acquire a combat card. Um, add plus three damage on your next attack. Uh, sure. That might help with a boss or something or other. Thieves Guild. Um, I can gain four to six crystals... Upgrade the forest or leave. What's upgrade the forest all about? Let's do that. Um, oh, okay. So if I had crystals to spend, I could upgrade the forest. Unlock an alternative appearance for the Lancer. Unlock and acquire the Overwhelm Blade. Um, up increase all single healer. Okay, so uh, long story short, I can unlock cool stuff with this, but I don't have the crystals. I'll just gain four to six, and there you go. There's actually a cool reason for me now to play this repeatedly. I can unlock more content as I go. Shrine. Um, pray for healing, rule three and above. Yeah, why not? 
Ye yeah, let's do he healing. It's e it should be easy, right? Eight. There we go. Heal a character. Uh, let's go with the... Let's go with that. Alright. Next. Leave the forest. Go to the undead ruins. Undead ruins! Yes, the undead ruins. All right, folks. Well, there you go. That was a quick look at Dark Quest 3. Again, this will be releasing from Early Access next week. So if you guys like what you see here, then by all means, check it out. It's It seems to be a really cool game so far. The price on it is 19 bucks. So, um, yeah. It says here, we the, will the game be priced differently during and after Early Access? It just simply says... We plan to gradually raise the price as we ship new content and features, according to the Steam Store page early access section. So sometimes there is a launch discount. You might wait for that, um, but then you take the chance of the price going up. I simply don't know what the developer is going to do. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. I'm liking the theme. I, I uh, aside, My only complaint, really... <laughs> was when the game booted up for the first time and, and I was unable to set the sound sliders yet, the narrator went, Rah! and I have tinnitus, so it was painful. <laughs> so lesson learned, don't wear headsets when you first boot up a game for the first time. Adjust the volume, then do that. I, I hate when games like try and surprise you in any way. Old man time speaking. Dark Quest 3, thanks for watching. I will catch you all next time. Take care.